to welcome you to this uh, webinar with uh, Paul Wallens. Uh, before we pass it on to Paul, hello, Paul. How are you? Very well, thank you, Theo. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, let's, uh, guys, just make sure you have all the, uh, all the online channels we use for your best interest when it comes to trading, investing. So we start with a YouTube channel. Uh, I will copy and paste all the, the addresses so you can simply click and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed on Admirals Global, please make sure you subscribe and like all the videos. If you missed some of uh, Paul's webinars, you can scroll down to Trading Spotlight and you can find everything here. Also, we have the webinars from Jens and webinars from myself. All right. And you can also subscribe to the live trading events I host on a daily basis. Uh, 9 a.m. EST time. Then we do have the Admirals Telegram, uh, sorry, the Admirals Instagram channel where we post many reels and uh, stocks information and everything relating to trading and investing. And also the Telegram, which it's a great, great uh, communication tool. You can read uh, and be updated with the markets when we uh, created some webinars like this one here. We put it on the Telegram so you can uh, subscribe in case you forget to do it from the website. So uh, I will pass it on to Paul. Paul is an experienced trader uh, with so, so many years in the industry. And uh, I'm sure you are in a great, great hands. And uh, I'm also very, very uh, happy to learn from this exceptional trader. So post. Paul, I pass it on to you. Thank you, Theo. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I, uh, I hope you can all hear me. I hope you can all uh, see me. Thank you for uh, joining our session today. Um, what we're going to be talking about is a, effectively a, uh, a kind of a little bit of a, a new mini series for all of the traders out there where we're actually going to be looking at uh, price action. When we're looking at price action, how do we utilize that? How can we trade it? And uh, over this session and actually over the, the next few sessions, over the next uh, few months, what I'm going to be doing is kind of giving you a little bit of an ultimate guide to uh, to price action uh, trading. So um, it's a uh, price action trading is, is you know, it's, it's very often banded around, okay, by people, okay, who want to talk about it, but it's not always understood. And what I'm going to try and do here is give everybody a, an opportunity to learn just a little bit more about price action trading and how they could utilize it and how they could build it into their own particular uh, trading. So uh, as always, I appreciate that uh, we have a uh, we have a broad range of experience of people here join the room or uh, people who are complete beginners to, to people who've been trading for a good while. Okay, just want to say you're all very uh, you're all very welcome here. It's great to hear there'll be something here for everybody. We'll be starting uh, today's sessions, the first couple of sessions, you know, aiming at beginners just to get them understanding but as we go deeper into the session will be more and more uh, of uh, pieces that are of, uh, of relevance and value to traders who've been a little bit of intermediate experience uh, as always i know that we're the english desk here in terms of providing you know english speaking webinars but i recognize we have a truly global audience who join us here for uh, uh, for our session so you know wherever you are in the world you know we hope you're well thank you for joining us if you're watching this on demand later you're uh, once again very welcome if you like it give us a thumbs up okay and uh, as always at the end of this session um there will be a yeah a quick uh, feedback form that we sent to you i'd appreciate it if you could take 20 seconds just to sort of uh, tap the buttons there and give us a little bit of feedback on these particular uh, sessions themselves so great to hear what we'll do is uh, i'll just bring up the slides here now and we'll uh, we'll actually crack on so just uh, bear with me one second ladies and gentlemen i'm hoping that uh, boom there we go Excellent. All right. So, uh, as I said, it's a uh, price action guide here. Uh, and we're going to have an introduction to price action. And as I said, over the uh, the next few weeks and months, what we'll do is we'll build upon that in an effort to give you a sort of help in terms of being able to trade price action. Um, as always, it would be interesting to know those of you joining us here today, how many of you actually utilize price action in your own trading? Maybe it's a completely new uh, concept to you, in which case that's absolutely fine. This is the right place to be. Maybe it's something that you, you know, use solely as your way and means of uh, trading markets. That's great. 
or maybe it's just parts of it that you utilize in your own particular trading style. It'd be great to know what your own experience of price action has been and how, how you utilize it. Just put it in the chat box or I'll put it in the uh, comments on the uh, on the YouTube um, on the YouTube channel. So uh, as always, here we are, Admiral's a uh, Forex and CFD broker with uh, global presence with local support, licensed and regulated across a wide range of regulatory environments, providing competitive spreads on the most popular trading products and allowing you to engage with uh, uh, markets using both the MT4 and MT5 platform. If you have any questions about Admiral's, then please get in touch with your account representative and I'll be very happy to help guide you. So what's on the agenda for today? Well, I'm going to talk about what is price action trading. Not surprisingly, this is session one, isn't it? We'll talk about how can it help a new trader? What is it that can actually help you in terms of if you're at the start of your trading journey? What is it that you can utilize in terms of how can you use alert to, to, to help you with your own particular trading decisions? And what we'll do is, you know, we'll talk about how price action appears in live markets. And what we'll do is we'll switch across to the uh, Admiral's uh, MetaTrader platform and we'll have a little look at setting up uh, a couple of uh, templates and profiles just to basically get us started, right, as we uh, as we go into this deeper dive, this journey into uh, price action. So for those who don't know me, my Paul. I've been trading for many years, okay? I've uh, traded for funds and for clients. Primarily, I look to trade at FX indices and commodities, uh, and that's what I will be a lot of my focus on during this uh, series will be on FX indices and commodities, but I will also include some equities and also some crypto. In terms of price action, price action is applicable across all asset classes and across all time frames, so it's uh, perfectly utilizable depending on how you like to trade. For me, when I uh, look to trade on my uh, longer term uh, positions, I, I kind of tend to be a trend trader. And for shorter term intraday trading, I tend to be a mean reversion and reversal trader. So the uh, ultimate price action guide, that's what we're going to talk about here. That's what we want to sort of uh, dig into here. Uh, uh, as it says, as the slide says, today we begin a new series based on helping traders understand and utilize price action in their trading. It's easy for beginner traders to be intimidated by the amount of knowledge required to be able to analyze markets. However, with some education and some understanding of how candlesticks are formed and what they tell us, well, then it becomes easier to analyze and understand markets. So today we'll go start a series, okay, that will look at helping traders understand price action and how to trade it properly. And what we'll do is each Wednesday, we will build upon the previous session so that you're educated and informed on how to use price action in your own trading. And what we'll be doing, as I said, every session, just building upon the previous session, just adding in a little bit more until we're actually able to spend most of our sessions just looking at markets and just basically employing the price action concepts that I'm going to be sharing with you over today's session and over the, uh, the next few sessions as well. So, you know, if you've got questions about price action, if you've got, uh, you know, thoughts, or you've got concerns or, you know, just comments that you want to make, you're very welcome to put them into the chat box here. Or alternatively, you can effectively sort of spread them across, okay, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, be sure to put it in the comments box and we'll be sure to basically get back to you and, and, and help you with your questions. So, as I said, I appreciate that a lot of people who join us are complete beginners. And so one of those first questions would be, well, what is price action trading? What is it? You know, well, why is it, you know, why is it employed? Why does it use? Well, price action trading is, is, is a basic means of a market analysis using price movement over time. It, it is popular with both retail and institutional traders. And what we're looking at doing is analyzing the change in prices over time. That is the action. And what we'll be doing is typically focusing on price action over the last three to six months but also respecting longer term price movements. So as I said, it is kind of a basic means of market analysis, but just because it's basic doesn't mean that it is not, it's not usable, that it's a not smart way to operate, okay? that it doesn't have its uh, benefits and its advantages. What it is in terms of price action, okay, is, is ultimately it's quite a visual aid to, in order to sort of make trading decisions. Uh, we've talked about this in the past, okay, during my own sessions as, the, as a trader, 
you really are only looking to have to make one of three choices. Am I going to be a buyer? Am I going to be a seller? Or am I going to sit on my hands and do nothing? When you boil everything down to it, that is actually one of three choices that you have to make. Am I a buyer? Am I a seller? Am I sitting on my hands and doing nothing? That's it. There's lots of different ways, okay, that you can come to those, those choices or come to those decisions. But ultimately, that's where we are and that's what we're looking at. With that in mind, anything that allows you to make that choice, that decision, even simpler and even easier, is actually to be benefit. Okay, it's to your benefit as a trader. What I very often find is that new traders, okay, they will clutter their charts. They will have 5, 10, 15, 20 different indicators on their chart, all hoping that that will help them make that decision. Whereas actually price action is more, more about stripping back, stripping away those elements. It's actually more about less is more. There's not actually a huge series of indicators that are on the charts. And if people wanted to be a complete, let's say, naked price action trader, well, invariably where they just have nothing but uh, price on their chart, that is still possible. What I'll be doing and focusing on is mostly price action, but we will have one or two little elements that just to help support us, okay, in terms of for new traders to give them a little bit of supporting information. But for new traders, what it does is because it strips away a lot of the indicators and dates on your chart, it actually is easier to make that major choice. And that's what we want to do, okay? Take away the intimidation, take away the opportunity for analysis paralysis, just focus on being able to make simple trading decisions. Am I a buyer? Am I a seller? Am I doing nothing? That's it. So we're a little ahead of ourselves, but over the next few uh, sessions, what we'll talk about is we'll talk about ultimately building a proper, complete price action trading plan, something that you can take away utilizing your own trading so that you're in a position to make better trading decisions. What we will do is we will focus mostly on the monthly, the weekly, and the daily charts. That is not to say that price action doesn't work across all time frames. It certainly does. Okay. And I will happy to use price action from the one minute chart up to the monthly chart in my own trading decisions. But what I'm recognizing and aware of is that an awful lot of the people who join us for our sessions, you know, they are part time traders. They're not full time traders. They're trading around a day job. They're trading around maybe family commitments. They're trading around other business commitments, etc. So actually, you know, just being able to sort of trade, you know, using monthly, weekly, and daily charts means that an individual can just effectively sort of, you know, ring fence a little bit of time to be able to do their analysis and put their trades on. But what we'll do is we'll go into the session. I'll, you know, as we go deeper into the sessions over the next few weeks and months, you know what we'll do and have a little look at intraday trading just to show you that price action works across all time frames. Those of you who've joined me in the past will know that I've always talked about wanting to have people to be a versatile trader. Okay, namely that you have the ability to trade any instrument in uh, any time frame in any direction. If you have the skill set to be able to do that, well, then you will have the, the, you know, the, the skills to be able to adapt to changing markets and changing circumstances. And that is what will give you a good long trading career. So, as I said, we will focus mostly on monthly, weekly and daily charts. And I will explain more of that as we go deeper into the session. But we also want to be able to identify price levels where we believe price will react to pride opportunity. There'll be price levels like support and resistance levels, which we'll touch on a little bit today. Things like big round numbers, things like moving averages, dynamics. As I said, you know, we're not going. We're only going to have one or two indicators in, and that will primarily be moving averages and fractals, which we'll do sessions on in the future to explain them fully to you. But for the moment, we're just setting the big picture. So, as I said, for those of you complete beginnings, okay is that you know, price action is all of, about us using a chart, which, as it says, will show you the various prices at which an instrument has been traded over a period of time. And it is by being able to read and understand that price action that we are in a position to make one of those three decisions. That is just a simple chart, because I appreciate there'll be some people here who are just completely at the beginning of their trading journey. 
And if you aren't, well, welcome. You're very welcome here. You're always welcome to ask questions. You're always welcome to get engaged. You know, and what we try to do is to cover as many sort of uh, uh, as, as many subjects or as many elements, okay, that enable to both the beginner but also the most intermediate trader have something of value to take away to, to work with. What we're also going to be using, okay, as a means of reflecting price is we're using candlestick charts. Some people might like to use line charts. Some people might use sort of bar charts. If you want to sort of learn more about that, you will find that there are um, sessions that we've done previously, which are on the Admiral's YouTube channel that you'll be able to find there. But we're going to be focusing on utilizing candlestick charts. And on my particular charts, what you'll find is that bullish candles, okay, are, are green, bearish candles are red. Some people like to have white and black. Some people have like all sorts of different colors. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all. But you'll find on my charts is variation of green and red. And when we see a green candle set, well, for those who are completely beginner, that's literally telling us that price is closed higher than it opened on this bar, that prices went up on that session. It's still operating with those four elements of data, open, high, low, close. That's what a bar has. That's what a candlestick has. And it's effectively the, ref the sort of uh, the relationship between the open, high, the low, and the close, that will effectively show how that candlestick is formed. And with a little bit of experience and a little bit of education, which we will go into, you will start to understand those candlesticks and actually how they can help us. And on the flip side, literally a red candlestick is where your price is closed lower than it opened on the bar. The prices went down, the bears are in control. All right. And once again, you know, it's about recognizing the understanding of just a couple of different cattle candlestick charts that will allow you to actually have the ability to make those trading decisions. Am I going to be a buyer? Am I going to be a seller? Am I going to sit in my hand? So, you know, there you go. There is a, a candlestick chart for complete beginners. That is a candlestick chart of the US dollar index. It's the weekly chart. What does that actually mean? That actually means that every candlestick, okay, is a representative of a week's worth of trading data. So actually, you know, when you've got a weekly uh, candle, uh, weekly chart like this, this is actually covering, okay, two, nearly two, two and a half years worth of data. And so we're going to focus mostly on the kind of three to six months worth of uh, information on our chart. But as I said, we won't forget the, the bigger pictures. And to start with, that will actually look to help us. By means of explanation, you know, if you haven't joined uh, me for my sessions before, you'll see that there are three sort of moving averages and some fractals on there. What I have here, as you can see, bang, there is a blue, and that is a 20 period moving average. The red is a 50 period moving average, and the green is a 200 period moving average. I also have, you might see these little, what would you call them, little triangles, those little applets. Those are what are known as fractals, all right? And we'll be doing sessions. We'll be doing a session on the moving average. We'll be doing a session on fractals themselves just to be able to sort of help explain. But other than that, okay, you'll see that there are no other indicators on my chart. There's no MACD, okay? There's no RSI. There's no CCI. I'm not saying that actually you can't utilize them. There are some very, very good videos in the uh, Admiral's YouTube channel that you can you know, focus on and look at. But actually what we want to focus on here is price action. That is what we're looking to do. We're looking to focus on price action to be able to make our trading decisions. Less is more. Because as I said, very often I see beginner traders, they just have far too much on their charts. What we want to do is actually strip it away. Strip it away, okay? Less is more. We just need to be able to make a decision. That's all we're looking to do. Let's keep it nice and simple. Let's keep it nice and visual, okay? We can actually see what's going on and we'll be able to identify what we're looking to try and achieve. So when we're looking at candlesticks, there are a lot of people who make uh, lots of assumptions about candlesticks, lots of uh, uh, thoughts and comments about them. But, you know, here is just a very simple explanation. OK, in this picture, we see a classic candlestick pattern. It's called a it's called a hammer. Why? Well, because it looks like a hammer. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, let's keep it simple. The thing is, what we've got to understand is what happened for price to print like this? What happened for price to have to print this particular pattern, a hammer? Well, what actually occurs is, you know, in, is understanding is that price opens here. Remember, open high, low price, price opens here. 
during that session, okay, whether this is a daily chart, a monthly chart, a one minute chart, during this particular session, price has traded lower during the period. Price traded lower, the bears were in control until it reached a level, a point, be that what it may, where actually the bulls have stepped in and the buyers have stepped in and basically pushed price up. They've been buying, they've been buying, they've been buying. There've been so much buying that actually price rallies all the way back up to its open. And then actually what happens in this particular case, it carries on through it and it closes right on its particular high as well. So that's what we're looking here, okay, is that, you know, we're trying to understand that. And with a bit of experience, a bit of time, and a bit of what I'll share, just starting to recognize and understand what is the deeper meaning behind these particular candlesticks. That's what we sort of like to look at, okay, need to understand. But, you know, what we're reading candlesticks, you know, would we need to know the name of the pattern? At the moment, I don't particularly sort of need you to know what the actual sort of special name of every particular candlestick pattern is. By all means, I will share them. But what I do need you to understand is, okay, just, you know, why is the candle printed that way? What is it telling us? What is the psychology of the market in that moment? Now, I appreciate if you're a complete beginner, that might be a bit difficult, might be a bit challenging, but stay with us, okay? And over these next few weeks, what we'll do is build on that so that by the end of the series, you'll be able to recognize the important candlesticks and more importantly, understand the sort of kind of the, the context within which they are appearing because that starts to become more important to you when you're looking to make a trading decision. So why do we like to use candlestick charts or for our uh, price section trading? Is because with a bit of experience, candlesticks become easy to interpret. They are easy to use, okay? They're easy to identify. They also provide us with a bit of psychological insight, okay? We're understanding what's going on deeper into the market and candlesticks are good at identifying possible market turning points, okay? I'm just gonna underline that. Excuse my uh, terrible drawing. Why am I underlining that? Because people forget this about candlesticks. Candlesticks, by their nature, are a reversal pattern in themselves, okay? Namely that if price has been drifting all the way down and then it prints a hammer like this, okay, the probabilities are is that price will actually start to move up for the next session. As I said, candlesticks are a reversal pattern. So the important thing is, and think people forget this, is that it needs to have something to reverse. There needs to have been a little bit of a trend. There needs to have been a little bit of movement for it to reverse. When you're getting lots of reversal patterns, candlesticks, okay, in the middle of a range, it doesn't really hold the same pattern, okay? It doesn't really hold the same cash up. Candlesticks are reversal patterns, so they need something to reverse. Just always, just always remember that, okay? For those of you just completely you know, new to understanding candlesticks. For today, okay, once we've looked at candlesticks, we can also chat about support and resistance. I'm going to talk about a little bit of support and resistance, and then we're going to switch across to the live charts to sort of show this playing out in live time. The important thing I want you to take away as a trader is to recognize price never moves in a straight line. Even in the most strongest of trends, there will be pulls, you know, there will be pullbacks, okay, there will be moments where markets take a breather, it might go sideways, it might be pullback, it might be a shallow pullback, it might be a deep pullback, all right, but the important thing is price never moves in a straight line, it tends to move between price levels, and the important thing is that those price levels, humans remember, even in a world where we have lots of uh, uh, computers and algos operating in, Right. Remember, they've still been programmed by humans and humans still remember import and significant numbers. And those kind of levels tend to be known as support and resistance, with support being the idea for the floor okay, underneath and resistance being the, the ceiling. And so, you know, what happens is, you know, as you start to analyze your charts, you'll start to be able to recognize, OK, where there were particular levels of resistance, There's resistance because price went up, but then it came down all the way. Where was this support? Where was the floor? Because it came down, but then it bounced its way off there. And so actually, you know, we have an upwards trend, but as I said, price isn't moving in a straight line. Price is moving in a zigzag. And being able to recognize that and understand that will help you, okay, in terms of managing your open trades.
When it comes to support resistance, what is important is to recognize that support and resistance manifests itself on our charts in various ways. So there can be ways like horizontal levels of support resistance, which we'll look at in a moment. It can also be trends and trend lines, although I particularly think that they are a little bit too subjective for new traders. But moving averages, horizontal support resistance, and big round numbers, big psychological numbers, they can all be very, very key. They can all be very, very important. So it is important that you can find these levels on your charts as they will be able to give you an idea of where you can start to time your entry into trades, where you can put your stop loss to protect your position, and also give you an idea of a potential profit target. When you're using price action, timing of your entry is kind of crucial to your success. You get the timing right and it keeps your risk low and your profit potential high. And that's what we're looking for, isn't it? That's what we actually want to particularly see. That's where we're invariably looking to operate, looking to work with. So, as I said, just remember, trend lines, moving averages, horizontal support resistance, big round numbers. They are all particular levels of support resistance, which we will look to draw in on our charts in order for us to build a picture, okay, for us to analyze the price action so that we can find places to do our business, so we can find places for our trades. So what I've got here is this is just a chart of the uh, of the DAX. It's a weekly chart of the DAX. Every candlestick is referring to a week. What we want to be able to do, what we want to be able to understand it is understand if that particular market, if that instrument, whether it's consolidating, okay, or whether it's trending. You will have heard me say many, many times, okay, is that when it comes to trends, good trends should leap off the chart at you, okay? They should leap off the screen at you. If you find yourself having to force it, the reality is it's probably not a trend, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably not there. What we have to recognize is that, you know, sometimes like here, markets are just going sideways. Markets are just consolidating. All right. And that's absolutely fine. At this particular present state, we don't really look to sort of try and trade those ranges. Although as you get more experience, that might be an opportunity. What we're looking to do is to find trends like that. We can see that price actually breaks out, breaks out of that range on a very strong candle before actually price rallies price rallies and it runs up and it's very bullish and strong but equally we find that okay remember it doesn't move in a straight line okay it keeps coming there's pullbacks there hopefully you can see before it basically goes sideways the challenge we will have as traders is recognizing that markets do not trend as often as we would like they might only trend 20 to 30 percent of the time 60 to 70 to 80 percent of the time you'll find your markets are actually mostly consolidating they're mostly moving sideways or they may be choppy or they may be transitioning. You don't really fully understand what's going on there. That's fine. When you look at a chart and if you don't understand what's going on, just leave it alone. There's no need. There are fine on the Admiral's platform. There are hundreds and hundreds of different instruments you can trade. You don't need to force your trades. You don't need to push. Okay. What you want to be doing is finding charts that are actually, you know, you can recognize and understand whether that market is consolidating or whether that market is in a clear trend. So just a quick recap of support and resistance before we switch across to the charts. Support and resistance can be defined in many ways, okay? Trend lines, right? Moving averages, horizontal support and resistance, big round numbers. But what is important is to realize markets are not random. They remember levels. They do remember the levels. Horizontal support and resistance works well. And what it can actually do is it can actually help us define the trend when we start to see higher highs, higher lows, lower lows, lower highs. And we'll see that move that way because basically price never moves in a straight line. What's important for us to remember is support becomes resistance and resistance becomes support. These things are important for us to know and to recognize and understand. And that's what we see there, okay? And with a bit of experience and a bit of practice, you'll start to be able to recognize that. So here's a few final points. Here's a few sort of basically homework for this week. What we're going to do is we're going to switch across to the Admiral's platform now, and we're going to go through some charts, and we're going to set up some templates and some profiles. We want to start out as we mean to go on. 
And so your homework, once we've done that, is to basically go through, pick up some of the, either the favorite charts or just start to build up, okay, a picture of particular instruments, start to create some templates, start to create some profiles so that on our next session, what we'll be able to do is actually just switch across and do that. So just bear with us a moment, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to switch across to the charts now, all right? And then we'll have a little look, okay, at what's possible. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that you can still hear me, hoping that you can still see me, and hoping that you can actually see these charts. What I'm going to be doing here over this series is I'm going to be utilizing both the MT4 and Admiral's MT5 platform. Today, what we've got is the Admiral's MT5 platform here, okay? And what I've already done is I've actually already set up a profile here for the British Pound, all right? So you will find that there are lots and lots of uh, great little tutorials on getting the most out of Admiral's MT4 and MT5 platform, uh, and even also the Admiral's Supreme platform. But what we're going to be doing today is just I'm just going to show you how to set up a template, how to set up your profile, and then we can look at you know what we're actually looking to do. So as I said, let's get the old draw into it. This I have is as oops, just pull this here. What I have here is bring up the old drawing tool. What I have here, this is a profile that I have set up for the British pound. How do I know it's set up for the British pound? Okay, because what I've done is let's just clear this is that here what I have. I have a chart here, okay? Pound against the US dollar, euro against the sterling, pound against the Aussie, pound against the yen, pound against the Swiss franc, pound against the New Zealand dollar, pound against Canadian dollar and also the FTSE here, okay, the UK index. So very quickly in one sort of look, what I can do is invariably I can just look and see, you know, what is the sort of trend for sterling? What is the trend for, you know, British pound sterling? Um, for those of you, you know, whilst we're watching this, there's been a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, volatility, okay, in sterling over the last uh, few days and weeks because of some of the elements that are going on. But, you know, that will just give us more interesting things to look at. So, Let's pull up a chart here and let's have a little look at what we can uh, what we can actually do. So as a price action trader, so I'm just going to bring up, here we go. This is the pound against the US dollar. What I've got here is, as I said, these are candlesticks, all right? These are absolute candlesticks. So you can see up here on that top of MT5, you can choose, you can choose to have it as a line drawing, okay? Not really interested for me. You can have it as a bar. That's absolutely, absolutely fine. But as I said, I tend to have it here as candlesticks. But now I want to basically build my uh, chart. And so what I have on here, okay, remember what I was saying is I have a blue 20 period, a red 50 period, a green 200, and basically fractals here. I'll explain fractals more in, in a future session, but I just have them on here at the moment. So what I'm looking to do is on my particular chart, you know, whenever you are on MetaTrader, right click, okay, on, uh, on the chart, bring up properties, and you'll be able to see how you can actually set up your charts in terms of colors, okay, and colors and what you want on your charts, what you actually need to, to be particularly have on there, okay. And you know, as I said, you can once again, you can show candlesticks here. Um, you know, I, I'm not necessarily fussed about the actual particular, uh, you know, the bid ask price line, but I want to see the ticker, I want to see the open, high, low, close. You know, I'll have a, a little bit of a grid, okay, uh, and you know, I want to be able to show trade levels and trade history in the uh, in the past if I want. What is also very important is I have show period separators. So on a monthly chart here, you can see the kind of vertical lines run. That's the period separator. So on a monthly chart, each period separate is a year. So you'll have 12 candles going through. Then I want to basically build, you know, so I have, you know, my charts, I have a white background. Okay, you can see there's a slight grid on there. Some might have black charts, some might have gray charts. That's fine, you know, whatever you can choose. But then more really, I'm looking to sort of add in what I have on my chart here. So I have insert, okay, indicators, trend, there you go, okay, moving average. That's where I'm looking to put on my uh, particular moving average, okay, just click it on there. Uh, and then I just effectively you can set that up. But at this particular moment, I use simple moving averages. It's a 50 period, and my one is red, okay. And you just do that three times, one for the 50, one for the 20, one for the 200. We'll do a specific piece on moving averages, okay, to help you understand them better. Today, I just want you to be able to see this on your particular charts. 
I also have fractals, remember what I said there? So insert indicators, Bill Williams fractals. There it is, okay? That's how you can find it to put it on there. And that's what you'll see them there on my particular chart. And that's it. That's my chart set up. And then what I want to do is to save that as a template so I don't have to do this every time I open a chart. I can just overlay the template. So how do I do that? Once again, okay, I right click on a chart, go down to templates, save template, okay? Save the template, this particular one. And uh, for here, I'm just going to give it a new name. So let's just call it Balls Price Action. Okay. That's what I'm just going to do is save it as here. And that means that whenever I open a new chart, okay, whatever that might be, I can just literally overlay that pretty quickly, pretty easy. I think I've pretty much got most of the, uh, the Sterling charts on here. Okay. I don't think there's anything uh, else or particularly one in here, but, you know, for the sake of, we could actually have Brent's British, you know, uh, British oil. I have a chart window there, okay, when it comes up, you can probably see it, that's how it comes up naturally, I don't particularly want that, so effectively all I do, go to templates, and then basically pause price action, and bosh, there we go, look at that, look at that short there on there, on there, Brent, well, beautiful, beautiful, well, that's a different story for a different day, ladies and gentlemen, so what I have there, okay, is I've set that template up, and then basically what I'll do is I'll open charts here for my sterling profile, for my sterling profile of every other of the major, okay, sterling pairs. So as I said, pan against dollar, pan against yen, euro against sterling, pan against Swiss, pan against Aussie, pan against New Zealand dollar, pan against Canadian dollar, and FTSE 100 monthly. You can then effectively just use the sort of, you know, the, uh, um, uh, the window, they go into window and effectively what you'll be able to do is to effectively tile them, all right? Tile them so it comes out like this. So I have eight charts on one thing. So I can very quickly get an idea of this is what I'm looking at. This is what I mean. This is where I'm particularly working. This is what I'm working with. I then need to save that as a profile. So up here, okay, up to the left, manage profiles. What I can do is save as. Now I've already got one set up here, okay, GBP. So just to overwrite that because now I've got Brent in there and then Bosch. And now I've saved that profile. So in one shot, we've looked at how to set up a template. We've looked how to set up a profile. And the thing is, once you've got a profile set up like this, it's actually very easy. The MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4 is literally you can sort of just drag and drop. So what I'm going to do here is, okay, just to, to, to help us and show, all right, is that basically what I'm going to do is Let's, let's set up an, uh, an Australian dollar template, shall we? Okay. So uh, what I'm going to look at here, let's just bring that off there just to give me time. So I've got the market watch here. Let's have a little look here. So I've got the uh, Aussie against the CAD here. I've got the Aussie against the Swiss franc. I just drag and drop it into the, uh, the same charts. I've got the Aussie against the yen, replacing the pound against the yen. I've got the Aussie against the New Zealand dollar. I've got the Aussie against the US um, dollar there. And I've got, here we go, uh, Euro against the Aussie dollar. And we've already got pound against Aussie dollar here. So what I'll do is I'll change this. Okay, I'll change this to, uh, hopefully we might have the uh, the ASX 200, which is the Australian index. And I've just dropped that. See, I've just dragged and dropped that into the, the FTSE. So there we go. Within one very, very, you know, in a couple of minutes, I've just created what is an Aussie profile, but you have to remember to save it, ladies and gentlemen, all right? You have to save it. So what I'm going to do is basically save. There we go. You can save as AUD, my Aussie. Bosh. Okay. And there you go. And you can see it's there. And that's what we're on at the moment. So, you know, for my own homework here for MetaTrader 5, I'll be setting one up for all the other major FX pairs. So I'll set one up for the Swiss franc. I'll set one up for Japanese yen. I'll set one up for the Canadian dollar. I'll set one up for the New Zealand dollar. I've already got one for the US dollar, okay? So what I've suddenly have is a load of profiles for the FX pairs that basically give me a very, very quick, okay, a quick overview of, uh, of what is particularly um, going on. And, you know, and that's, you know, set up templates, set up profiles, and start to build this very, very quickly and easily. So what I'm going to do here is then once I've done that, okay, as part of my homework here, I'm just going to bring up the Aussie dollar chart here. Remember what I was saying, we're going to start with the monthly chart here. Just move this over here a little bit. Bang. And what I'm going to do is starting in the month 
monthly chart, I'm just effectively going to draw in levels of support and uh, resistance. So uh, uh, there you go. Uh, hopefully that, uh, hopefully Raquel, that um, you've been able to sort of understand that. How do you actually set your screen to see the uh, uh, to see the profile? And um, that is effectively you should have that under uh, here. That should basically be uh, b -b 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 view under your uh, toolbars. Okay, if you just have a standard and you have status bar, that will also just show or hide that status bar at the bottom so you can so you can see it. So you can see it there right at the minute. And I always have that status bar on because what it does importantly is it also shows you if you've got a connection all right to the internet, if you're getting, you know, if you're still getting your feed through. So um, maybe uh, let's uh, zoom out here a little bit. So, you know, this is the monthly chart of the uh, of the Aussie against the dollar. And all I'm going to do is, okay, is I'm just going to draw in horizontal levels. And this is where I can see, because of my practice and where the fractals, where I can start to see that there's been particular levels, okay? Remember what I was saying, horizontal support and resistance levels, okay? Just starting at the monthly, where I can see lots of fractals there. I can see prices actually being moving, okay? And you see prices actually uh, happening there. Just starting on the monthly chart, it doesn't actually have to be necessarily super perfect. We don't want to mess around but we can see here okay there's a fractal there fractal there fractal there fractal there fractal there okay just moving our way up and down there okay just looking at where those particular edges are because what i'm going to do is as i go down into the lower time frames as i will as i will particularly tighten them up there okay so you know just starting on the uh the, the monthly chart just making sure those are, are drawn drawn in where i can see that there are particular levels okay particular horizontal support and resistance levels that i'm interested in that you know that remember that price will remember those particular levels and then when i go down from that then i'll go down to the weekly chart okay here and then once again i'll be starting to just draw in where i start to see there are significant levels so hopefully you can see there my eyes quickly the fractal there we had an up fractal up fractal down fractal down fractal down fractal down fractal there okay and you know not unsurprisingly when you look at it what is that that's actually the big round number of 70 so that's what i'll do i'll just effectively just select that line if it should be here we go select that line and then properties of it and then what i'm going to basically do is just tighten that up all right remember i was saying just tighten that up to 70 okay and suddenly very quickly i start to have these particular levels in place uh, and then also have a look at the daily okay because then you can start to look at the sort of kind of most recent right? I remember we said you know for most of our trading decisions we're going to be looking at focusing kind of the last three to six months okay of what we're particularly interested in and i can, and I can see that particularly there's you know there's levels here okay where there have been fractals there right that are showing up the same as there you know i can also see that you know there's there's fractals here, okay, fractals there all around about significant levels that basically price continues to sort of draw and work with. And there you go. At the moment, that is all I need you to do. Just set up a template, set up a profile, set up profiles for FX, indices, commodities, which we'll look at, you know, in, the, in future sessions, and then basically be able to just, to just draw in monthly, weekly, and then daily levels of support resistance. The great thing about MetaTrader is once it's in there, It'll always be in there. You don't have to do it every single time, okay? You do it the first time might take you a little bit of time, but after that, you know, you just effectively just have set that. And suddenly, we now have understanding of the levels of support and resistance, okay? We start to build a picture, okay? And in future sessions, we'll look at oh, how do we go for trends? What particular sort of uh, candlestick patterns are we looking for? How do we put on a trade? Where is our trade? What are we looking to do? How do we run for profits, okay? How do we put our uh, manage our risk and put our stop losses? But for today, just identify, okay, set out how to pick up a template, how to set up a profile, start to do, okay, a little bit of quick analysis, all right, just very simple, look for those fractal levels where you can see those levels, that there's many of them hanging about, and that is a starting point for us to work with. Cool. So I'm just going to have the last slide or two to, uh, to conclude, so just bear with me one, uh, bear with me one moment. So remember, as I said, all right, your homework, is go through your charts, okay, set up templates, set up profiles, start to draw in levels of support resistance. That's what we just, that's all we need from you, okay, to start with, all right, that's all, you know, we'll, every week we'll build and build and build. So to conclude, price action analysis is just a way of analyzing market using purely price action. 
We're looking for price action triggers at significant price levels, prices, or, or zones. And what all that is going to allow us to do is to build a simple price action trading plan. And it's always important to do our analysis and manage risk, more of which we will cover in future sessions. So we've had a little look at them already at uh, live markets. Just uh, remember that uh, this will be next time. So what will happen is at the moment for September, the next uh, session of Paul's Ultimate Price Action Guide okay, will be on Wednesday, 21st September, 2 o'clock London time. We're going to look at the engulfing candle. What is an engulfing candle? How can it help a new trader? How do you identify engulfing candles in terms of price action in live markets? So be sure to sort of check your inbox for the webinar link, right? And be sure to sort of, you know, make sure that's in your diary for 2 o'clock on Wednesday, the 21st. If you've got questions about this or if you've got particularly you know, thoughts or comments, all right, then by all means, get in touch with us here. You can email there at global at uh, admirals or you can watch this session and all the other previous trading spotlight sessions on the uh, youtube.com forward slash admirals global sessions. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, what we've uh, looked at there, OK, is we're just running out of time, unfortunately. Is you know it is you know the first session okay is an introduction to price action and you know in the same way as a trading journey is the same way as this series we all have to start somewhere and so we start today with just a, a very simple introduction to price action okay and understanding that you know price action is a very visual way okay a simple way for us to analyze the market and decide where we're going to trade am I going to be a buyer am I going to be a seller or am I just going to sit my hands and do nothing. Also, just want to be able to sort of identify support and resistance levels. Those support and resistance levels, it could be horizontal levels of support resistance. Okay. It could be dynamic ones like moving averages. And we'll focus on that when we do a session on moving averages, but also trend lines uh, and also uh, big round numbers. Okay. Big round numbers, which we'll also take a, take a look at as well. And then just touch there. Okay. Just looking at the MetaTrader 5 platform there from Admirals, setting up a template. Okay. Setting up a profile doing that and then once you've done that being able to just go into each of the charts and just start drawing in monthly weekly daily just drawing in your levels of support and resistance as we go through the session we'll do more and more of it that'll become billion remember once you've done it once on your metatrader platform well then invariably it's actually all done okay you don't have to keep doing it every session it's done for you so that's a, you know, one of the great bonuses of the metatrader platform so there you go ladies and gentlemen unfortunately uh, as always we've run out a little bit of uh, time but i always try to put in and cover as much as we possibly can. I hope you found that uh, useful. I hope that's given you a little bit of insight in terms of price action as a start. Remember, session by session, we're just going to be adding more and more and more and building it up, okay, over the uh, over the whole of this particular uh, series. Uh, as always, okay, as I said, just at the end of this session, there will be just a little feedback form. If you take a moment just to fill that in, that helps us. That would be absolutely great. We'd really appreciate that. I'll take you 20, 30 seconds if you'd be kind enough to do that. And as I said, the next session for the price action session will be on Wednesday, 21st September, 2 o'clock London time. Have that in your uh, diary. And in the meantime, you know, I wish you the very best of success with your trading, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, trade well, everybody. Cheers.